What do you want me to learn about iPhone photography today, Captain Photo? You know, nowadays it's getting easier and easier to make professional quality photographs right on your iPhone. It's really amazing. Let me take just a couple of minutes, show you how to use a free app, and set up your iPhone so you can quickly do it too. You'll be making photographs like you never thought possible in just minutes. Oh my yes, I've heard about shooting raw. It seems kind of scary, but you say it's easy and will dramatically improve my photos. Okay, but go easy. So maybe first I should explain why now is the time that anybody can take these uh, professional quality photos. Well, when iOS 10 came out, it gave the iPhone the capability of shooting raw files. Although, strangely enough, you still can't shoot them with the native iPhone camera app. However, we can download the app that uh, pretty much all photographers use these days. It's called Lightroom Mobile by Adobe. Um, probably 90% of photographers use uh, Lightroom to manage and process their photos. Uh, everybody knows of Photoshop. It's been around you know, 25 years, but Lightroom is a much newer product and it was built specifically for photographers where um, Photoshop was made more for graphic designers which have much more rigorous work to do on their images than photographers need to do. But there are still quite a few photographers that use uh, Photoshop just because they've gotten used to it or because they do need a special feature that is available in Photoshop that isn't available in Lightroom. However, we're not going there in this video. So I want to show you how to set up your iPhone to take advantage of the ability to shoot raw files. And just real quickly, what a raw file is, is a picture that comes directly off the camera sensor without any processing in the, in the camera itself. When you take a photo with your native camera app in your iPhone, you're going to get a JPEG file. That's a file that they've taken the data off the sensor, they process it using their own algorithm, and then compressed it into a small little package. So it looks fine to see. It looks It's a beautiful photo, but that's all it is. It's not artsy by any means, and it leaves no room for artistic interpretation of your image. But when you shoot RAW and have the RAW file and the RAW data to work with, there's so much more you can do with your photo. And it's so easy to do in Lightroom Mobile. So that's what I'm going to show you. So the first thing we need to do is get Lightroom Mobile on your phone. So let's go to the App Store and search for Lightroom. Uh, mobile. There it is. Uh, it is a free app and you do not need the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, the photographer's subscription which, which uh, costs ten dollars a month. You don't need that to use this app free on your phone to process raw files. Okay so now you've got Lightroom Mobile on your phone and now let me show you how to set it up so you have quick and easy access to it. So from your lock screen, iOS 10 has a new widget area. You swipe right and there are these widgets over here. And at, at, at the bottom of them is a little edit button. Well if you hit the edit button, there are these two widgets that are installed on my phone right now and then there's all these other widgets under more widgets and you can scroll down and you can add any of those that you want if you want quick access to them but uh, you'll see after you get Lightroom installed on your phone that it shows up down here so just hit the plus button to the left of it and now it's up here in your in your widgets I like to have mine right at the very top for just quick access. So you hit the three bars on the right and just pull it up. And there it is at the top. Hit done. Voila. Now you'll notice that when you open your widget area with a right swipe from your lock screen, Lightroom Mobile is right there. It has three icons. Take a photo, take a selfie, or edit your last photo. Uh, what we're talking about in this video is just taking a photo. So what I'm going to do is hit that, 
it opens the camera and right now I'm just <laughs> looking at my uh, my monitor on my iMac uh, in an upcoming video I will show you after I've gone outside and taken a real photo of something pretty how to process it in uh, Lightroom mobile to make it really awesome oh let me show you this when you open the camera you'll see here at the very top it says DNG that's uh, short for digital negative that's the file extension for a raw file um, you can also just touch that and it'll open a dialog where you can take a JPEG with it if you want but we don't want JPEG we do want DNG raw files so we'll leave it there if you get your iPhone set up like that, you'll be taking professional photos that'll blow your mind. Thank you, Captain Photo. Now I can't teach that to millions of people around the world who take photos with iPhones every day. Well, that was pretty simple, right? Great. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'll probably hit you up with some more tidbits on how to use your iPhone in a more evolved way in the future. Thanks for looking. Good job, Captain.